What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Maximal football. And, you know, to be fair, I will just come out and say that I disagree with what's being done here. But before I say that, well, I guess I've already said it, so now I can't say it before I say that. But regardless, listen, Canuck play, David Winter, Eric over at Spear, anyone that's had a hand on this project the last three to four months, you have done more than I ever expected an independent gaming company could do. Period. From Doug Flutie's namesake to listening to the community for the approach of your game and going down a college dynasty route to going out and getting not just sponsors, but extremely relevant sponsors like Wilson to become involved in your game and then going out and taking that same dedication and putting in new animations at a motion capture studio, redesigning your player models. This game is being put in a position every single day to be more and more successful. However, this is something I really don't agree with. This is a billboard that's going to be shown throughout Nashville during draft week, and it states college football gaming is back. And I think at some point we have to understand that perception from the potential buyer will ultimately indicate success. I think if we go back and look at all pro football 2K, as a prime example, here's a game that actually marketed itself very similarly. They said football gaming is back. Football is back. And when gamers got the product, they were upset that, yes, it was football gaming. Yes, it was NFL players, but it was not the experience they expected. And you did not have NFL teams. When I think college football gaming, I don't think it's a stretch that we expect an NCAA title, more so when you're positioning this during draft week. I fear, and listen to what I say very carefully, I fear even if maximum football exceeds every expectation the community has and is a better game than, say, NCAA 14, by projecting itself as a college football game, you are putting yourself in a position to disappoint consumers regardless of how great your product is. And that is something that I have a real concern about, knowing that we've watched all these independent games truly grow from year to year to year based on our community supporting them, purchasing them, playing them, and providing feedback. And I know that there are people that purchase these games with no intent to play them because they know they are not at the level they want them to be, but they simply want to invest into a product that they know will continue to grow and become better and ultimately become a game that they want to play. But when I see something like this, it raises a giant red flag because I know it leaves our community and it goes out into casual gamers. And I know that casual gamers are relentless and how they rate and review a product. We've seen that with Mad 19. And if you're giving someone the impression that college football gaming is back and they buy a product from you that is not on a shelf, that is a digital download, and learn that there is not, in fact, college football gaming, but only college football structure, I do believe you're putting yourself in a position to be very negatively received by a much larger community than you're currently in. Love to know what you guys think about this. Appreciate you checking it out. And you know I will be back in the week with more commentary.